Well, hello everybody and happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, July 25th, 2023 at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. This is Lisa Freeman from StampingWithLisa.com coming to you live. And welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm crooked as usual. See if we can straighten it out just a little bit. Oh, that one, oh, that one really crooked. Wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> It's showing straight on my phone. Okay, there we go. That's better. All right, so now it looks a little bit more straight, hopefully. All right, you guys are all piling on here today. How is everybody doing? Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Beth. Hey, Diana. Hey, Carol. Hey, Sarah. Yep, just saw you last night. I looked so tired. Thanks. <laughs> I am tired. <laughs> oh, I'm exhausted. Um, let's see. Hey, Julie. Um, hey, Kathy. Hey, Sue. Hey, Judy. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Carol. Hey, Marie. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Myra. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Minda. Hey, Therese. Oh my gosh, we got a million people just jumped on. Okay, I just lost everybody. Hey, Diane. Hey, Laura. Hey, Nedra. Hey, Lucy. Hey, Stephanie. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Tootsie Bell. That's a new one, I think. Tootsie Bell. I like that. Deborah. Lisa. Irene. Robin. Ginger Snap. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, 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 everybody. Wow. It's so good to see you guys. Almost up to 100 already. Holy cow. Oh, Debbie says, how is Spice Girl? Debbie, unfortunately, Spice Girl passed away last week. Um, if you missed last week's video, well, actually, it was just Saturday's video. Spice Girl earned her wings and is going to heaven. So, um... We'll talk about that for a minute. Um, so I did talk to Melanie after the video last time. So if you're watching the video on Saturday, you know that we learned that Spice Girl had passed away on Friday. And um, so what happened was she got her last chemo treatment on the 12th. And evidently it was just too much for her to handle. And... Um, she was really having a hard time with it and um, really bad side effects. And she ended up going into the hospital the day after the video on Tuesday. So she was on Tuesday's video. And then Wednesday she went into the hospital and she ended up having pneumonia and had to be intubated. And um, her body just was too weak to um, handle it. So... Um, Oh, it was really, really heartbreaking, and, you know, um, I just want to thank you guys for all the messages. I got so, so many messages from you guys, and it was just a really hard day, And but it was so nice to read all the messages from you guys, and, you know, I had, I, um, I was going through the, uh, the last few days with her on my text messages and um I kind of put them together and printed it out and I wanted to read you guys some of the things that she said the last few days because she did talk about you guys and um I just wanted you to know that I think this channel and you guys that are on here were a huge part of her um life and I think you'll never, never know how much all the cards and prayers and everything that that you guys did for her, um, how much that meant to her. And um, uh, when I talked to Melanie, she said that her goal was to make sure that she got a card back to every single person that sent her a card. So uh, Melanie was helping her write those thank you cards back. 
And so she has like a pile left. And so Melanie is gonna try and finish that for her. Um, Cause that was her, her really big wish that she wanted to make sure she got, gave a card back to everyone that sent her one. So, um, so hopefully um, Mel, you know, will be able to do that. I know she's really, really having a hard time. And um, yes, yeah, she does have family, her husband, Greg, and she has a son. Um, I think his name is Dustin. Yeah, Dustin. And um, I know it's hard to believe she was just on last Tuesday. I just, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. But it makes you think, you know, you just never really know. But I'm telling you, she was just an awesome, awesome person. And I never got the chance to meet her, but I felt like she was one of my best friends. And and I think a lot of you guys felt the same way because most of you guys, I don't think ever met her, but you knew her from this channel and some other channels that she watched. And, and she really was like a, a huge light and, um, I, I just don't think anybody could say a bad thing about her because she was just a wonderful person. So, um, anyway, um, I do want to read you that at the end though. So if any of you guys want to stick around to the end, I've got, uh, uh, a little thing I want to read about her. So, um, yeah, Sherry, she did, she tried to send everybody cards. So, um, so if you want to send her family, her husband, a uh, card, I'll put the address up at the end of the video, too. Um, all right. So today, what we're going to do is a one-sheet wonder, and we're going to make, um, I'm just going to make one of these cards. It makes four. So we're going to do a whole sheet, and it makes four of these. And this was my swap card for our meeting last night. So my upline, Faith, and my other upline, Melissa. So Faith is my direct upline. That means I signed up under her and then she signed up under Melissa. So they're my two uplines. And um, we have a meeting every other month. And so we had our meeting last night. This was my swap card. And um, I wanna show you some of the other swap cards that we got. So this was mine. And this was, let me see. Some people don't put their names on them, but hopefully this one is. This one is Sarah Stone. She's on here watching. So Sarah, love your card. Love it, love it. This one was, I don't know, nobody put the name on that one. But we were supposed to do a collage kind of theme. So that's kind of like the one she wonder idea, doing like collage stuff. Some people didn't quite do it the way I do it, but um, that was the theme to kind of do a collage style. So another one with no name on it. I don't know whose that is. Um, this one, uh, who did this one? I want to say this was Wendy. Yeah, Wendy's. And this was Faith, my upline Faith Clark. I loved it. And what she did here, she actually took the paper, you know, the front page of the Daisy paper where it has like this, I think it's like, um, maybe nine different, um, designs and you've got you know the little ones that you can just cut them all up so there's one of them that has the daisies like this so she cut the daisy out instead of like stamping it and using the dies she actually cut it out of the paper so this was her card which is really simple but it's beautiful i love it love it love it so that was hers and there's the inside so that was faith this was anna crosby love 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 this card and she said she did it with a credit card. Um, when I've done this kind of technique, I used a post-it note. So you, like, what I do is lay a post-it note and then just sponge the edge. And then you kind of keep moving the post-it note back a little bit, sponge the edge. And then I think she had, like, a circle um, here and kind of sponged it and then took it off and then did that. Um, I don't know how she did a credit card because it seems like the credit card would uh, smear, but... I would just use a post-it note and do the, the lines like that. But I just got this turtle set, so I can't wait to try that technique. Um, this card was 
Uh, I think Melissa's, yeah. This is Melissa Ellis, so she's my other upline, and I loved that. And um, she gave us that stamp set, so I'm gonna be using that sometime soon. And then this one was Jennifer Dietrich. She made this card, and I just got those dies. Um, I haven't done anything with it yet, but I loved that card. And then that was that circle, I think it's that circle set um, that comes with the punch, I think. I'm not positive, but I think that's what it is. And then, um, I can't think of the name of this one off the top of my head, but um, anyway, so those were the swap cards from my meeting last night. So those were awesome. And um, so that's why I did this card. And it's also my card for our class um, this week. So I'm using these two stamp sets, the Queen Bee and the Perched in a Tree. So um, pretty much the back piece is the Queen Bee and then the Perched in a Tree is the front piece. So um, pretty easy, really. I know I love that Queen Bee set. That is not in the catalog, that is in the online store. So you have to go online and look for it. It's in the online um, exclusive part. Um, let's see, let me read some comments real quick. My goodness gracious, you guys are talking a lot today. <laughs> There's so many comments. Um, mostly about Debbie. I know, it's so weird, because almost every video, I talk to her, like, right before the video. Like, 30 minutes before I go online, on live, she usually texts me, and she's, like, you know, talking about whatever, you know, happened during the day or whatever. And she's like, I'll see you in a little bit on the, on the video. And it's just so weird because, you know, I just sat down to do the video and I'm thinking, where's my message from Debbie? But, okay. All right. So, oh, let me, I also got happy mail. So I got two cards. This one I love, love, love how easy this is. And I'm totally going to copy this for maybe like a, 10 and 20 kind of video or something. I don't know, I love this. I think it's so easy, but so cute. Um, this one is from Penny, Penny Lou Payne. Penny Lou Payne. Oh, there's her name right there. <laughs> I was looking over here. <laughs> love this, Penny Lou. I guess that's your first name, Penny Lou, or maybe it's just Penny, I don't know. I think it's probably Penny Lou. Yeah, probably. She is from Colorado. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Love that paper. And then I got another card. This one is from, pa oh, I got two of them. Paulette Coustier. She put Coustier. I guess that's how you say that, Coustier. So this one I thought was cool because it uses, I don't think this is Stampin' Up! paper, but you have the piece of designer paper and it is like the front and the inside. So instead of having like cardstock, you open it up and it has the front and the back of the paper. So you don't waste, you know, glue it down and miss the back of it. So that one I thought was really cute. And then this other one has these little mice, which I, t <laughs> this is funny story. So, um, you know, I mowed the grass today and I just decided since it's been so incredibly hot, I would buy this thing that one of my friends got from Amazon and it's a neck fan so you put it around your neck and you turn it on and it blows cold air on you and it's actually like cold air it's not like just air because I was using it outside when I was mowing the grass but the only bad thing is the air kind of blows up like towards your face which is good but it was making my eyes water so bad I couldn't see so <laughs> mowing the grass and I had to keep stopping and wiping my eyes because they were watering so bad from the air blowing right in my eyes and <laughs> but it did help me keep a little bit cooler but the only bad thing is that the thing hanging around your neck it's kind of looks like headphones or something almost it's a bit like a big plastic thing and it kind of um makes you sweaty where it's laying so I don't know. It's kind of a good and a bad thing, but it did keep me cooler, but it also made my eyes water so bad I couldn't see. So, um, I kind of give it a half thumbs up, half thumbs down on that one. All right. So, oh, card kit. So if you, um, you've got a few more days, I think when is the 31st? A week from today? No. 
Tuesday, Monday. I think Monday is the 31st. So that's the last day to get the card kit. So this is the card kit for this time. So you'll get the supplies to make these three cards if your order is $50 or more and use the host code. And if you order $100 or more, you get the two packs of gems. We're doing double gems. And you get um, entered into a drawing to get the mystery box, which is a giant box of stuff um, that I'm giving away. And for every $50 you order this month, you get a coupon for $5 to spend next month. And there's also another special coming out next month for card kits. So all the kits are going to be like 30% off, I think. So, so get those coupons now and you can spend them next time. All right, so let me show you what you need for this. So you need your whole piece of vanilla. So eight and a half by 11, very vanilla. And then, let me put that up here. And then... I only cut one of these because I'm just going to make the one card, but um, you'll have four to make because we'll do the whole sheet. So five and a half by eight and a half boho blue. Hey, Ina, that is, that is Stampin' Up! Paper, that card. This one? I've never seen this paper before. Are you saying this one is Stampin' Up! I have never seen this paper before is it retired or is it new I don't know because I have no, never seen it that's funny I don't think that that's not a stampin up uh stamp because I would recognize that I don't know where's that paper from um let's see butterfly kisses oh it's a couple years back huh I don't remember that one. Uh, huh. It was. Okay. Uh, oh, Vicky, the dog wants you to go outside. Mm. Just tell him to hold on. You're watching me. Neck fan. People use them at Walmart all the time. <laughs> yeah, I think it would work better inside. But I don't know. Outside, it just kept blowing right in my eyes. And it was really making my eyes water. So... I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I might have to turn it down so that the um, the air goes down. <laughs> Maybe on my chest or something. I don't know. Um, let's see. You're using that chubby bird you said you didn't like. <laughs> I know. At first, I didn't like that bird. But now, I think he's kind of cute. I think it's um, maybe a pregnant bird. I think it, she's either pregnant or just fat. I don't know. Kind of a girl after my own heart. <laughs> I, I, I saw this thing I was going to post on Facebook. It said, um, there's a reason why I can't diet. And it says, because I'm hungry. <laughs> I said, that sounds like me. That's the reason I can't diet either. All right. So then, okay. So we've got the big piece of vanilla. Then we've got this piece, four of these, but I only cut one boho blue and then four of these this is for the inside I should have put that inside piece and then you need four of these this is for this front piece right here that goes behind the bird it's three and three eighths by two and five eighths because I just wanted a little bit of blue show and I didn't want like a ton of blue and then this piece right here that goes on that so it's three and a quarter by two and a half very vanilla and then this piece right here is this little teeny word piece so that word piece is i'm running out of room here the word piece is one half inch by one and a half inches so hopefully all that fits on the screen okay Okay, it's a robin. It's a robin. We don't talk diets here. I know. I really was bad today. I don't know what the, what was the matter with me, but I ha you ever have those days where you just like eat and eat and eat, and it's like you're just not satisfied, and no matter what you eat, you're just still like you want something else to eat, and you're not like getting full even though you're eating a lot. Like I had, I got up and I wanted to mow the grass really early, so I just had a bagel which didn't do anything for me. 
So I went and mowed the grass and I came back in and I was just starving, starving. So then I just started snacking and snacking and snacking and snacking. <laughs> and before I knew it, I just like snacked myself to death. All right, so hopefully you got a screenshot of all of these. I ate some chips and dip. Then I ate some nuts. Then I ate some yogurt. Then I ate a banana. And then I ate, what else did I eat? <laughs> something else. Uh, then I waited a little while, then I had a hamburger. I made a hamburger for dinner. So that was about the only thing nutritional I ate the whole day. <laughs> like, ugh. And I just never got full. It was like the weirdest thing. Like I was just starving. Okay, so let me put a piece of scrap paper down here. All right, so we're gonna start with our whole entire piece of vanilla. That's all nice and shiny. And we're gonna start with this one from the Queen Bee and the Boho Blue. All right, now this pad is super juicy, so I did stamp off for um, most of these, I think. So I stamped off and then I just kinda stamped all over like different directions. Oh, I feel like I got something under there. So ink it up and then just lightly stamp off and then kind of just do this all different directions. So you'll have like light, medium, dark. Just put it all over. Just till you run out of ink. Let's see, we'll do another one here. Do any of you guys watch um, Sweet Magnolias? So if you do, the new season just came back and I found out, um, uh oh, I think I didn't, uh, I don't think I stamped off on that one. So, oh yeah, maybe I did, I don't know. So the new season started a couple days ago, and so I was like, oh, excited, and I was like, oh, I'm going to start watching it. Well, I didn't know they, like, post the whole entire season all at once, so I started watching it, and then I ended up binge-watching the whole entire thing. So I think we're about done with this. Maybe just, maybe a teeny bit more. Okay, so that's probably good. All right, so there's our first step. And um, I think while I've got this out, I'm gonna go ahead and do the inside because the inside piece has the same exact thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick so I can put that stamp away. So this one, I'm just leaving full string. So we'll just do this there and there. So that's the inside piece. So we're done with that. And then let's do this one. Put this color away for just a minute. All right, so here are the words from the Queen Bee set. Um, anyway, so I binged watched the whole thing. I think it was only like eight episodes, really. It wasn't very much. And uh, I didn't know that's all it was, and I just kept watching it. And then all of a sudden it was done. I'm like, what? It can't be already done. So I was really bummed because it just was like over so fast and I hardly got to watch it. It just seemed like it was two episodes and it was done already. So anyway, but it was so good. I love that show and it's on Netflix. So if any of you guys have Netflix, it's Netflix, it's on there. All right. So... We just want a few of these on here. I think I'm gonna do one more. Right there. Um, it's so hard to stop. I just want a couple light ones. But I love the characters on there. They're so, so good. All right, so that's that one. And then what are we gonna do? Let's see. Oh, we've got some of the trees. 
Now the trees I put, I mean not the trees, the um, stem. So this one I just put right around the edge. So I'm gonna wait till I cut it to do that one. Um, so we've got to do the bee and the sprinkles. I'll do the sprinkles real quick. And we'll save that branch for last. So we're done with that. Um, okay, the bees are gonna go in the brown. I think I need a few more of those blue ones. All right, so we're gonna put the bees on here. Um, has anybody tried the new Tillamook flavors? They have like a couple really, really good ones. Oh, can I slide it down a little bit? Slide the what down the paper or this whole thing is in the screen so I'm not sure if you're not seeing something oops don't have any of those programs like Netflix Paramount oh Doc Martin I haven't seen that one uh, let's see Virgin River. I know I'm waiting for Virgin River. Oh my gosh, I love that. And Bridgerton. Those two. And what's the other one? There's another one I really like too. Um, can't think of the name of it right now. All right, so just put a few of those bees on here. And that should be good. All right, then we're going to put some sprinkles. And that's all we need the brown for. Okay, so that was early espresso. That was crumb cake and that was boho blue. So now we're gonna do um, the sprinkles. Sprinkles is in boho blue again. So I'm just gonna do those kind of all over. I like to tap off because I don't want it like super dark. this is an easy one we don't have like a ton of stuff on here just like three or four stamps and then we're gonna put those um, the branches just around the edges all right so I think that is it until we cut it all right so now that's it for except for the um, this one which this one's just gonna go around the edges a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and we want to cut it to a quarter of a sheet so I'm gonna cut it in half first, and that's five and a half, and then four and a quarter. Okay, so there's two, and then what you wanna do is kind of look and see. Let's see, that was really dark. I think we need to add one more of this one on here, because it's got one dark, and then the rest are all really light. That was the one I forgot to stamp off. So let's just do another one over here to even it out. There we go. All right, better. All right, so then, put that there for a second. All right, so then you kind of look at it and say, okay, where do I want to cut off? Because this is the quarter of a sheet, so we want to just cut it down to five and a quarter by four. So I need to cut a quarter of an inch off of each side. So I think I'm going to cut the bottom off of here at four. And I think I'm going to cut this side off. So five and a quarter, do that one. Yeah, I do my cutting upside down. I know. Looks like a whatchamacallit blade, the yellow handled thing for clay packages. What? Is there any Tillamook with low saturated fats? I doubt it. <laughs> what? The little round case is out. Okay, what are you talking about? Uh, I don't know. I missed something. Okay, so there's one. And then the rest, you pretty much do the same. You just cut them down. I might add a couple more little 
blue things on there though. All right, so now we're gonna go back and just do that branch on the edges. Because I didn't want the whole branch, I just wanted to put them, this is upside down. I just wanted to put them like there, kind of on the edge. Not the whole branch, but make it kind of look like there's branches coming off. So just kind of fill in wherever you want. Okay. All right, so there you go. All right, so that's our main piece. Now the middle really doesn't matter because that's gonna be covered up. So that's our main piece is done. We've got our inside done. And we've got these pieces that still need doing. So, oh, we still need that. All right, so now we're gonna do the bird. And I need that for just a minute still. All right, so the bird's in the boho blue. And we're going to do him or her. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy. I think it's a girl. Looks like a girl. Do the bird right over. Well, we're kind of in the middle. Right there. Oh, I just love that bird. Isn't it so cute? And then we're going to take our thank you. And do that on our little tiny piece. And I can barely see this because I don't have my glasses on. Oh, that went crooked. I think that one broke it. Oh, no, not too bad. Okay. And then we're going to put a little bit of sprinkles on here. Just a little bit. And we're going to do the edges of this. So dip it in there. So now you got the edges of your little, oh, it looks like I got a pearl. I picked that up somewhere. I don't know where. And we're gonna do our branch and crumb cake. So this is tricky because you wanna make sure, you wanna kinda get that branch to go through the little um, feet of the bird. So you gotta kinda angle it um, like this. And if you don't get it, it's okay, because you could put the words kind of covering that. Pretty good. I got it a little teeny bit off, but that's all right. Um, then we're going to sponge, not with this color. Oh, you know what I need to do, though, is this. I want to dip that edge. Okay, so there we go. We dipped the edge in the blue. All right, now I'm gonna take balmy blue and sponge. So I just did a little bit of sponging on the bird. Teeny bit. Just on here. To give it a little bit of color, but I didn't wanna use the same blue. And then if you wanna put a little bit of blue around the edge, you can, but you don't have to. Just try to concentrate on the body mostly. All right, so there we go. I think we got everything done. All right, so now we're just gonna put it together. All right, so I've got this piece of ribbon which comes from this pack. It's the Real Red and Burlap Ribbon Combo Pack. Um, is in the big catalog. So you get the burlap piece and a piece, a pack of red. So this is good to save for Christmas. And then this one matches crumb cake pretty, pretty well. So it's almost exactly crumb cake. So that's why I thought it looked good on this card. All right. So we're going to glue these two together. Get that put out of the way. Um, <laughs> Vicky, <laughs> you are hysterical. Um, Vicky said, it looks like your Stampin' Up! products come down to shoot, fill a box. The next station, they throw one piece of bubble wrap on top. <laughs> they don't really pack very well at all. It's secure. That's exactly what it looks like when you get your packages. 
least that's what mine look like. It looks like a whole bunch of stuff packed in the box and then they just stick one piece of bubble wrap right on the top. That's exactly what it looks like. And mine has to come all the way across the country so by the time it gets here, nothing is like packed the way it was when it left, I think. And usually everything's mixed up in a mess. They used to be packed better, I think, I don't know. All right, so there's that one. Then this one goes inside. Yeah, and then if you're lucky, the um, UPS or FedEx drivers don't actually, you know, drop it out of the airplane on the way here. Sometimes I've gotten some that look like they were dropped out of the airplane on the way. Can't you see the Lucy show? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, I can't read very well because I don't have my glasses on. Okay, this delivery guys have quotas to meet at the cost of the package condition. Yeah, I know. What set are you using? It's perched in a tree and the queen bee set. Yeah, if you get a box like that, just call for stamping up. They'll they'll replace it for you. They're good about that. All right, so this is gonna go just a little bit below halfway and I'm gonna tape it to the back with some just regular old adhesive and stick that down. I wasted a little bit, I cut too much. All right, then we're gonna glue this down to the front. I always put a little bit of glue on the back of the ribbon just to hold it down a little bit better. We got this new cookie place called Crumble. I don't know if you guys have that where you live. We just, it's the first time we have ever gotten one here, but somebody said that's like, they have really good cookies. And so one of my girlfriends went there the other day. She said the cookies are $5 each. And I said, well, that must've been a really good cookie, but they're like, just, you know, cookie, one cookie, $5. I said, holy cow. That is a, an expensive cookie. I've never heard of such a thing. All right, so then this one's gonna go on with dimensionals and so are the words. So we can put the lid on this. There it is. <sighs> the other night I was working on Sunday and I don't know why on the weekends, it seems like the people that come in to work um, are just so much nicer than the people that come in during the weekdays. And we just had the nicest people coming in and they were just so sweet. And this lady came in, she was 93 years old, but she didn't look a day over like 75. I'm gonna take that out of there. She was just like so young and, um, I mean, I never would have guessed she was in her 90s. I, maybe 80 tops, but. I was thinking more like 75. And she was just so cute. She was visiting from Florida. She had her little like tennis outfit on and just cute as she could be. And her daughter brought her in and her daughter was probably 70 something and they looked like they were sisters. They didn't look like mother and daughter. But she was just so sweet. And um, so anyway, she, <laughs> She was just so sweet and then she comes out and she's just like waving at me. I need another bumblebee on here. That's the only bad thing when you do a big one. You don't have them exactly positioned where you want them. But I think I need a couple more. Get my little bumblebee out. I think I need one like there. Maybe here. I kind of need one there too, but I don't know if I can squeeze it in. Okay. All right, so then we're gonna put our thank you on with a couple dimensionals. So then after she came in, I've got still dirt under my fingernails. Even though I took, oh, I got another funny story. So then after she came in, this other man came in, he was 84 years old. And again, he didn't look 84 at all. He looked maybe like 75 too. And he was just as sweet as he could be too. And I was like, is it still hot outside? This was Sunday. And uh, 
He's like, it's cooling down a little bit. And I said, good. I said, I need to go mow my grass tomorrow. I said, I hope it stays cool. Because Sunday was really nice. It was only like 85 maybe instead of 95. And um, he said, well, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, which was yesterday, which it did rain. So I didn't get to mow the grass yesterday. So I had to mow today. But um, he goes, well, I'll go to your house and mow your grass for you. This guy's 84 years old. And I was like... You are so sweet. <laughs> I'm thinking, what kind of, you know, just man walks in and just offers to mow your grass. I mean, he's just like so nice. Oops, I need my scrap paper back. All right, we're gonna spritz this with some shimmer spray. Give it some shimmer. So there you go. So there is the card. So you'll be able to make four of those if you make the whole sheet but just remember do that the little um branch at the end because i don't like i didn't want the whole branch on there that would have kind of ruined it up i think so there's two here's three so you'll be able to make four i do have another one somewhere i don't know where i put it okay so let me read some where do i work at an urgent care center no he wasn't hitting on me he was married <laughs> He was just so sweet. He's like, he was just the nicest old man. And then even when he left, he said, he goes, I really don't mind. He said, if you want me to run over by your house, he said, I'll go mow your grass for you. And I'm like, no, <laughs> I don't think he knew I had like a big yard. Um, do I use alcohol? Yes. Alcohol in the shimmer spray. It's 70% alcohol. And then, um, the little bit of this, the champagne mist shimmer paint. Um, yeah, we've had a lot of rain. Ruth would be proud of me. I know. Ruth was on here last week, too. It's those cakes. <laughs> Nothing bunt cakes. I had those the other day, too. I know. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to do thumbs up. Um, okay. Bunt cake. Yes. Nothing bunt cakes. Now, those are those went up, too. They're like $5.75. Which, that I can see more than a cookie. One cookie for five dollars is just a lot. They're almost like a cake. We have several of them here. The cookies are really good. If someone else is buying, <laughs> five dollars is to keep you from overeating. <laughs> I know that's crazy. They're four dollars in Texas. I don't know. Maybe Virginia must be more expensive. All right. So I wanted to read you this thing I put together about Debbie Spicer. So these are just texts back and forth from us, but I just put her part of it. So, um, this starts on her, um, right before her last chemo. So she says, can't, can't believe this would be my last chemo. I pray to God I'm cancer free. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, by the way. And all of this, because, because of you, people know they can pray and send cards. I don't know many other people or demonstrators who would take the time to make sure all have the information and caring about someone else. I think there are so many people hurting out there and they don't know what to do. Sending a card, even to a stranger, feels good. It doesn't feel like you are expecting anything back, so it's a win-win situation. But once in a while, you connect with a person and they connect with you. I don't know if most take root inside and it carries on, but for that season, it is real. You learn, laugh, maybe cry, and grow. Wow, do I sound like a philosopher, haha. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that was one text. And then another... One after that, we were talking about my friend Sandy, who passed away last month. She had cancer also, and she had been fighting it for a long time. And she, my friend Sandy, was a lot like Spice Girl. She was just one of the sweetest people I've ever, ever met in the whole world. So I was, I had been talking to Debbie about her. And um, so she said, Sandy sounded like a vibrant, wonderful light on this earth. It makes me wonder why some fight the good fight and die. I must, I might add that this was in the manner they were going to shine, and it's hard to understand that. Believe me, you don't want to fight around this, uh, fight around with this chemo stuff for long. I would have loved to have known her. I doubt I would have had so many people say such nice, truthful things about me. Ha ha. <laughs> I wanted to put that because I just wanted to say, Debbie, if you only knew what people were saying about you right now. <laughs> 
because <laughs> she really had no clue how much people loved her. Um, and, and, then, and then I said something about, I said, it scares me so bad to think that I, if I ever got cancer, you know, I wouldn't have anybody to take care of me because, you know, I'm here by myself. I don't really have any family here that, you know, could take care of me or anything. And so she said, I, by the way, would come, in, come back and take care of you 24-7 if you ever needed it. How difficult could it be? We could eat Tillamook ice cream, rotisserie chicken, crack candy at Christmas, and watch Hallmark movies all day. <laughs> And then this was about some something else. She said, I'd love to have an abundance, but we may not be rich in finances, but we are in friends in life. I couldn't see that until um, well earlier this year. So thank you, God, for teaching me. Thank you, God, for leading me to Lisa. And that's true, too. You know, a lot of times you don't see things and and realize how much you do have until things happen. And I think... She she never realized how many friends she had and how much people loved her until she got cancer. And she just was so amazed by all the outpouring of love that she got from the cards and from all of you guys. And and she not only got cards, she got a lot of gifts. And, um, you know, she just really, really was overwhelmed by that. Um, and then she, this was about something else. She says... When I was excited for you to go over to YouTube, I know you'd attract a large, a large new following. So Spice Girl became your biggest fan. I'm so happy people have followed that awesome, robust laugh. You are such a special person. I don't want anyone messing with you or hurting you. You hear me? There have to be this talking about the men because I was telling her about my date date situation the other day. There have to be nice Christian men out there that have accepting qualities that you want. Look, there is you. <laughs> Did they kill the good ones off? I'm starting a new trail path for you. I'm praying for a man full of faith, yet one that ha can have fun. I have all kinds of adjectives in it, and they are all positive ones. And let that prayer rip through home space or wherever God's land truly lives. A clear and describable man just for you. Stand quiet each night and pray for this because I believe it's going to happen. And this was the night, the last night I talked to her, which was Tuesday, last Tuesday. She said, I feel a tad bit better, so I'll try some soup, maybe. Everyone on your site is so sweet and special. They make you feel wanted, unusual, but it's all you. You draw people to you in this manner. I was telling God not to waste his time with these jerks because we want the real thing for you, baby. Ha, I know <laughs> I feel a tad better now. And then she put, love you, girl. So that was the last message I got from her. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I thought you might want to just hear some of the things, you know, that she and I talked about. And But one thing she really, really loved more than anything was this channel and all of you guys that are on this channel. And I think just know that she really, really loved you all so much, even though she had never met you. She knew that you cared about her and prayed for her and loved her and that meant more to her than anything. And, um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. So, um, I hope that you enjoyed that and I hope you enjoyed this video. And, um, so we're ending on a somber note. I'm not doing a joke tonight, but, um, I'll be back on Saturday, um, afternoon with another video and um, I hope you guys will join me. So I will see you soon. And love you guys. And I know you guys are kind of like a big family here. And I, I, I thank you so much for being here for me too. And that's right. She didn't meet a stranger. And I love all of you guys too. And yes, I'll be on at 12 on Saturday. All right, you guys, sending big hugs, and um, uh, I will be back in a few days, so take care, everybody. Bye-bye.